Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I believe that most of you must have heard about something called source control and may also have worked on things like Git, SVN, Powerhouse, Visual Source if for that matter. In today's video, we are going to talk about what is source control and why we must use it not by using the laptop or code but by using some paper sheets and lego blocks. By the end of this video, I will also talk about DevOps pipeline that's a bonus content so hang on with me till the end. So there is no company today which doesn't uh, utilize a source control. Most of the companies use Git, many also use SVN. Okay, so what is this source control? Why it is required? What is the purpose of this source control? So when I have this sheet of paper uh, of different different colors, and I have joined these seats using a tape, you can see, okay? And I have these Lego blocks, okay? I have just stacked Lego on top of each other to create a Lego block and this is, you know, something similar to a house in Lego blocks. So, for example, let's take this seat. What if I want that, you know, um, this color, uh, blue color should be here. How should I do that? Well, you know, I have stuck it with tape, but if I want to uh, remove this blue color from here and put it here, I have only one option. This, right? I have managed to took out the blue color, but it didn't came out nicely, right? But in here, or let's take this Lego block. If I want this color to be on top and this to be on bottom, I can remove this, remove this, take the white color, keep it over here and I can do it without any scar or anything like that. So these papers, uh, you know, when we stack it together using the tape, uh, these becomes more like our life decisions. No matter whatever we do, we cannot undo it completely. Okay. We have to live with that decision, whatever we took in our lives, but that's not true with Lego blocks. Why? Because Lego blocks is designed for the same purpose, right? And you know what? If you use source control, you will get your code as a Lego blocks where you can change it, remove it or put in a different place without impacting anything, right? You know, without impacting the overall structure, without incurring any cost or, you know, any scar on this, unlike this paper, which is, you know, if I do it even once, even if I manage to stack it in a different way, it will come back in a worst possible way. Okay. So this is what happens when you don't use your source control. You may remember it for a day or two, but there is a limitation with the human memory and you will forget it after some time. But with Lego blocks, you don't have to do that. For example, let's assume that uh, this is a house built in or product built in Lego blocks and I want to change this white color one with uh, let's say this. Okay, so I will remove this. I'll remove this white color one. I'll put this one and then I can put this as it is. Okay, so I didn't damage this or this while changing this. And that is what source control does. In source control, while you are building this product, it not only takes care of the fact that you removed this and added this, but it also takes care of the fact that why it is being removed and you know what is the purpose of that. And if tomorrow you want to put this back again by removing this, you can do that. So all source controls are different. There are generally two types of source controls, centralized and distributed. SBN can be considered as a centralized source control and Git is a distributed source control. But in a nutshell, what they do is that they just create stack of information. The moment you start till the current moment and what all things you did to reach this current moment, which means that source control maintains history of everything, every changes whatever we did in our code base along with information like you know who did it and comments like why somebody did it it will keep it stored the benefit is if tomorrow you want to go to some previous place 
this is possible with source control if you want to go to a previous place and you know let's say replace one of it this is also possible with source control imagine if you had to do it manually first you will not be able to know when the change happened but source control takes care of the fact that when the change happened date time and everything else along with history so you know whatever you do it's just like a surveillance system of your source code it keeps each and every detail each and every change of your source code in a stacked format and we can see till its origin okay so this is what source control does and that's the precise reason people use source control because human memory is not that reliable but source control believe me it is reliable okay now not only this today source control provide many other functionalities like you know um, whatever code you change for example let's assume that this is a code we are creating since last uh, 10 months or one year or so and i am adding a new code okay and if i am giving this code for someone to review the source control has additional features which will tell me that you know this is the only change these are not changed and it will show me just a change so if this is a you know thousands of lines of code it can show me only three lines of code that is being changed now okay so for any product development you need source control okay similarly you can build two products in a different different source control and combine it together okay now let's talk about interesting thing called devops devops is kind of very hot topic of the day and you know everybody talks about devops everybody want to create devops so devops is nothing but a pipeline okay consider devops as a pipeline from a water purification plant to our homes right what happens with devops is that it creates a pipeline and you know it creates a filter in every block so the input expected over here is raw water okay normally treated water then the input here is that it will add chlorine then here is that it will remove a smell and then it comes to our house if we consider this pipeline as this one even the smallest drop of water which flows from the water purification plant till our house goes through all these checkpoint or filters that are being placed in the devops pipeline so in the devops pipeline you know first thing is your code okay then what happens that uh, you know once your code is there there is a integration test there is a uh, you know smoke test there is a real time test there is a real time deployment and then it is meant for production ready whether or not customer is willing to take it at that point of time or not so devops is nothing but a pipeline okay it makes sure that every code you write goes through all the filters in the pipeline before it reaches to the end consumer it's up to you how many filters you want to include in that devops pipeline there is no standard filter even if somebody says otherwise you know you know what all things needed to be done to make sure that the quality of your product is good when it is being delivered to the end consumer similarly like you know if you are getting a purified water you will apply less amount of filter but if you are not getting a purified water you will apply many different layers of filter before the water can reach your home the purified water can reach your home same thing is with your devops pipeline i will give you a hint how to design your devops pipeline it's extremely simple think about it every piece of code you write what are the stages it needs to pass before it reaches to end customer if you want to give it to the end customer directly well and good fine but if not you need to test it you need to define those test steps in your devops pipeline and if test steps are automated your devops pipeline will work automatically very similar to the fact that in the pipeline coming from a water purifier plant to our house nobody is sitting there in between and filtering the water it is automatic with the filters right same filters you have to apply to make it a devops pipeline okay so that's all i had for today i hope i was able to explain what are source control why you must use source control 
and what is DevOps. Thanks a lot people. Thanks for watching. Till the next time we meet. Good day, goodbye. You please take care.